Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Football Filling. We have got a banger of an episode for you today. We've got the main man, Troy Deeney. Alongside him, we have got Mark Goldbridge. Um, it's been another eventful week in the Premier League, as per usual. Arsenal, genuine, genuine title contenders, are they? Are they really? Um, Cristiano Ronaldo went from CR7 to CR700. What a friggin' legend. Newcastle fans actually think that they're going to be getting top six this season. Could they actually do it? And Erling Haaland only went and scored just the one goal at this weekend. I think he might have fallen off. Come on, let's get into this. Going to be a banger. OK, let's get into it then. Troy, before we start talking about all things Premier League, um, massive win for you yesterday, uh, sorry, on Saturday. Bristol City, 3-0, pumping win. But I want to know more about the Championship, OK? Because at the weekend, you had Norwich and Sheffield United, who were top of the league, both losing. Mm -hmm. um, between first and seventh, there's three points. Watford lost again. And West Brom, who have just sacked their manager, are in the relegation zone. How much of a tough league is this? It's, it looks like absolute carnage. It is garbage, mate. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad you said Watford lost again. Uh, I won't say that. No hard feelings and all that. But um, it's one of them weird weeks as well. After international, everyone sat their manager. You know, normally you do it in international, give them a couple yeah. of weeks to get rid of it. It's like the week after people lost, it was like bang, bang, bang. They're doing it get now. Rid of, yeah, getting rid of people, which was strange. Hull, you see them at the moment. They've, yeah. like, got a manager. They haven't got a manager. They've got an owner that's... Worse than Gino, and at this moment in time, he's all over the place. So um, no, it's uh, it's a it's a weird league. I think we've we've um, we're four points off play, off the playoffs at the moment. Bad, yeah, and it's 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 crazy, mate. But it's good fun though, and you've you've been there. It's like sat next week we go uh, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday. Relentless, it's, yeah. Isn't it's it? just non-stop, mate. And yeah. It's uh, nine more games before the uh, World Cup, so get it all in and let's have a laugh. What do you? Um... So we've had a lot of VAR controversies. We're going to yeah. talk about them all in a minute, in a bit. Um, what do you prefer? Playing with VAR or not playing with VAR? Not playing with it. Really? Because you have that like that element of being in the boozer like, afterwards. It's a, it's a mistake. It's a yeah. genuine mistake. You can actually talk about it. I feel like now it's like... It's boring. It takes the soul out of it, isn't you it? When celebrate you're... your goals and know it's not going to get called out. Don't you? Yeah, that's that's true. But also, you lose that bit of like what football's built on. Like if you you score a goal and you're not going, all right, let's wait three and a half minutes before we can actually Miserable, celebrate. Isn't it? Yeah, and there's always like throw-ins that will stop. Let's just check if there was a penalty 15 seconds ago. It's like just have a game of football. Like, have, have, you, have, have you played with many players that love VAR? Have you played no, honestly, genuinely? Never. Because never. If, if, I don't know anyone that likes it. I don't know anyone that likes it. Yeah, Even yeah. the refs don't like it. Let's call it as it is. Exactly. They don't. Because it puts them in an awkward position where they actually can't ref the game. Yeah. They have to just like, kind of, I'm not going to give that one because VAR will help me out. So they're taking their like, you're not even uh, enabling them to be do what their job, what they're supposed to do. So I don't know anyone that likes it. It's not clear. You saw the penalty, uh, the potential penalties with the handballs this weekend. It was like, Come on, is, is it a rule? Is it a fight? Is it not? Like, what are we doing? Like, let's just have it off. Yeah, just let them ref. Hold it, mate. <laughs> let them ref. Let, let them ref and, let, and, and let, like you say, the, the, the school chat, the pub chat. Yeah, yeah. Immense. Because it's still, we're having it every week anyway. Of course. And there's VAR. And I think it's more frustrating when you're talking about VAR than it is if you just... It's the clarity it like that the we're looking for, isn't it? Yeah, they yeah. claim it's meant to come in and be more clear, but it's actually made it worse, in my opinion. Yeah. It's made it more, the, there's more grey area now than there ever was. And yeah. more, more goals will be given as well. More goals mm -hmm. will be given as a result of it because the handballs, for example, of like Marcus Rashford, it's not handball, really, is it? To be honest, no, like it, it's just it's brushed his arm, crack on, score a goal, boom, simple as that. Let's all agree then, yeah, that we just need to get rid of it. Simple as that, Premier League, <laughs> boom, get rid of the thing, all right? Um, right, we're going to move into our first game, and we're not going to go straight for the Man United game today, That's okay? All right. We are going to start the <laughs> with the uh, the Arsenal game at the Emirates, um, three two win. Mm -hmm. Arsenal, genuinely, are they? I know I say this every week in a minute, but they keep winning, they keep doing it, keep churning it out. Are they genuine title contenders? I don't, I don't like Arsenal as a United fan, <laughs> but I've got to say, I really hope they can keep it up. I've always been a big... Um, I've always seen what Arteta wanted to yes, do. Yep. I think he's a great advert for any level of football that yes. if you give him time, 
uh, this is what can happen because he could have been sacked a couple of times, couldn't mm -hmm. he? He's done, a, he's done a really good job. They're so consistent. He's got a really good 11. They're so together. Mm -hmm. I think that's the big thing. They can concede a goal. I thought Liverpool in the first half were the better side yeah. and Arsenal came out of it 2-1 up. Mm -hmm. Second half, Arteta's had a great chat because they were the, they were the better team in the second half by a long, long, long way. Um, but I, I think it's... Liverpool, Klopp said it this morning, they're out of the title race. I really hope Arsenal... And I hate saying it, I really hope they can keep winning because it, it will keep the Premier League more interesting because mm -hmm. everyone's saying City's wiped it away. So I think Arsenal, I, I don't know, I've never played the game like you two. I think you'd be overjoyed with that because yep. there's times where you've had to dig in. Yep. There's times where you're not the best team, mm -hmm. which you expect when you're playing Liverpool. Of course. But second half, I know there was a bit of dodgy decisions, but ultimately I, I think they deserved it. I think they were the right, right the, team won. Probably did. So... Back in the day, I remember the old cojones, all that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> Stop bringing it up, Ben. Do, do you, like, but genuinely though, do you not? Do you think Arsenal? They're kind of. It's like they've got it's away from now. That. It's changed, it's changed hasn't now. It? They're a proper outfit now, and that's the thing. Like, remember when I said that? That was about one game in yeah, one yeah. situation. It won like the whole culture of Arsenal. But I grew up on Arsenal with Wrighty, like as you know, he writes Ledge. legend of mine, and uh, that's what I'm used to. Big freaking one nil wins, they're horrible yeah. one nil wins. I mean, then you weren't Invincibles, and they were just world class you played against them and then they went into this weird space where Wenger was trying to recreate something and I think United have been they've done this over the years and they? they've tried to recreate the Fergie years yeah yeah definitely and it's like it don't work you just football's oh, moved on and yeah. I think Arsenal have gone through that patch where they had uh, Emre and people like that and then they've gone right this is our man we're going to back him yeah. and I think the biggest thing that I like with Arteta was he got rid of all the egos Yeah, yeah. whether they're players good players or not Ozil Aubameyang Good players, good lads. Yeah, he's owned it, hasn't but he? he's gone. This is how we're going to be. Back me or not. And now you see, as you say, the togetherness. And I thought when they scored the third, I went, "This is over." Yeah. Miss is an Arsenal fan, so I was like, "It's, it's done." Yeah. I didn't see Liverpool come out and go, "We're going to have it." Yeah. I just thought they were like, "All right, we've lost here." And they broke Liverpool's spirit, which I thought was some of the Arsenal never do moving yeah. forward. And and I think now I'm going, "All right, you're top four now." But at the start of the season, I didn't think they'd be top four. Yeah. I thought they'd do some. Arsenal, you know, like they'd, they'd <laughs> yeah. someone would get injured, like Jesus would get injured or whatever, and then they'd just fall away. But the wheels will fall off. Yeah, but now I'm like, ooh, proper, proper outfit. And you can see the way that Xhaka's come into his own yeah. now. Him, This player this year to last year is, is miles better, isn't it? And people don't understand as well, like, from our perspective of playing, to see the confidence a manager can give you can change your whole outtake and outlook on football, can't it? Yeah, the, uh, for me, the, it's their energy. Like, oh. Because it, it's still such a youthful team, Like, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd, I would love to know what their average age is. I bet you it's about 24, 25, though, right? Yep. Too, right? But their energy, like say there, when they went 3-2 up, I thought, Liverpool ain't got the legs here. Yep. They're done. Their okay. race is run already. So, yep. And Arsenal are just going to be able to keep the ball. They're going to be able to shut down, pressurise, all that kind of stuff. And that's exactly what they did. And I'm thinking, wow. I thought Arsenal might get a fourth. Mate, exactly more than that. Liverpool getting an equaliser. Getting an equaliser, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think you're right. I think it's funny how when they got that penalty, I thought that's game over. Because I felt all second half, Liverpool mm -hmm. didn't have a goal in them. Mm -hmm. First half, I thought Liverpool had it on, had, 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 the go, had the game. I think Diaz going off cost them a bit. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah. But second half, I don't know what Arteta said, but... They, they swamped them in the first 10 minutes. And was, was it a penalty? Can we, can we yeah. try and clarify this? I, 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 I think, for me, if you give, if you, I think it's soft. And I think a referee, I would like to think a referee would think, I probably should have given the Gabriel handball. I'm not going to give the penalty. But yeah. you never get yeah, yeah. I think I think... I don't think it was handball on Gabriel, mm -hmm. and therefore I don't think the Jesus penalty should have been given. But I think Arsenal deserved it in the second mm -hmm. half. Yeah. Anyway, but so. I, striker, is always yeah. going to say, yeah. like he's kicked through him to get the ball. So either way, whether it's a minimal or big, yeah. yeah, yeah. If that's outside the box, no one's arguing. Yeah, true but that. I just think when I look at Arsenal, like you just said, though, like youthful, energetic, but that 12, 13 lads that they've got, a couple of that come off, I still think they need another striker. Yeah, yeah. I, I like Eddie, but he, he doesn't yeah, fill me yeah, with confidence. Yeah, yeah. If Jesus goes down, I can't put him in for 15 games and he's going to get you the goals. Well, who did they change in their front three? Saka, Martinez, yeah. Jesus. If you lose one of those, mm -hmm. which you're going to lose at some point, unless Course. you're really lucky. You're looking at Nketiah. Smith Rowe's injured, isn't it, at the minute? Yeah, but, yeah. but I just look at Liverpool. We never talk about, like, I love Klopp. I think he's world class. They were some dodgy decisions yesterday, weren't they? Yeah. Taking them 
like Salah, Salah off. Rough, yeah. And I think that Salah contract's not the balance of that Liverpool team out. Yeah, 100%. Do you I know what I mean? he wanted to go in the summer, didn't he? I think yeah. he probably did. And they've said one more year and we've seen it at United. And funnily enough, this top was the year when Sir Alex was going to retire in 2001 yes. and then he decided not to. And that season was a car crash. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah. And I think maybe with Salah... Veron, one more year. Veron, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, top, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. So I nice. think Salah's maybe... The, he's, I, I was watching the game yesterday. So he's, he's not like terrible. He's yeah. not... Salah. But I've also they got rid of Mane. Mane was the man for me. Mane right. How many times did we play against him? He was he battered us. People don't understand how mm. good Mane was, right? But it's not even just how good he was, it's his intensity, his yeah. work rate. So that front three, him him, Firmino and Salah, they, it was like, oh but he if, had raw if pace, one, Ben you if can't. One wasn't that. shutting you down, the other one was shutting yeah, yeah. you down. And Mane was just there, like before you knew it, he was on you. But I do think it's a bit weird because I mean I totally agree with you, yeah. but I have seen Liverpool probably play six times this season and Diaz has been their best player. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. But yeah, they miss Mane. So But one thing they're all Quick, but Mane is like raw pace, yeah. direct. You can't account for that. No, you can't. That's like when Walcott was at Arsenal. He wasn't their best player, but if he ran at you, he was like, oh, fucking hell, he's coming again. Yeah. You know, you had to stop in you all the yeah. time because right. you'd have to go, right, we'll give him a couple of yards because he's so quick. That's what I think they've lost with Mane. Mane was like coming, he can run at you, he can score, but also he could head it. None of them from three really. Yeah. Ahead. I know Diaz is big, but he's not a no, he's not gonna win powerful game. header, yeah. Rush, yeah. And like he had that option as well. Oh god, they might cross it. Oh, we we'll have to drop off. And then that's where you sell us and that get us the space. So I think it's been a huge loss. I think Diaz is is really good. Nunes will become good. Yeah. But I think that Liverpool are in a transitional period and it and I still think they might nick top four. Yeah. yeah. I still think they do. I think they'll go again in, in January. I think we could see them getting due, you know. Yeah. I could see him go big on Jude really, early, yeah. just just before yeah, United or City. Yeah. yeah, someone's going to go like 120 on him Oof. early doors, because if you wait to the summer or right. I, even if he has a really good World Cup, that could be 150, mate. He probably will have a really good World Cup because he's a oh, really good. He's player. really good, yeah. and he's a world class human as well. <laughs> is he really? Looks, yeah. Yeah, he's been, mate, and his brother is the same as well. Great family, but I just think someone's going to go big early. Yeah, I don't like a City can wait, can't they? They can wait to the summer. Real Madrid can wait. I think United or Liverpool will go big on him. And also, if Liverpool are in a transition, which I think they are, if you buy a player in January, it's not it's not a problem, is it? Yeah, you give him six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six months, don't you? Yeah. But like, look, like a free six months. Yeah, if you look at like Henderson, again, love Jordan. He was he was one who was right at it yesterday yeah, when he was getting it. after everyone. Milner, that that midfield's probably getting old now for the way that they want Thiago. to play. To, yeah. to be fair, they're tracking back for Thiago for the second yeah, yeah. goal, just sort of sauntering back. That's what I mean. It well, kills you. on the bench. I always thought he was a fantastic, fantastic player, player, but there's player, a lot yeah. going wrong at Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, we just quickly want to talk about um, Trent because the right back um, situation in England in general is yeah. massively um, what people are talking about at the minute. Trent, he's just struggling defensively. That isn't second it? goal, I'm, I mean, I've not played at a high level, but I was crying. I, know. I was like, in that situation, you are the centre back on the break, mm-hmm. and you've just got to defend that space. If Good they job. score, they score. He, he sprints and he gambles that was it Martinelli's going yes. to not do this, and, and then he just looks at. He looks like a pub defender when that yep. happens. It's, it's Him and just, Henderson both just get sent for a hot dog. Yeah, and then boom, and he doesn't need just, to come oh. out, and then the cross comes in. Stewart had to let them both in, didn't he? Afterwards, <laughs> now do you, know, do you know the problem? <laughs> you know the problem with Trent, right? Trent is world class going forward. Yeah. But he's never been a great defender. Yeah. Mate, we've played against yeah. him. It's like when he's got the ball, freaking out, wow. try and stop it and try and not let that diag or the cross come yeah. in. But when you're getting at him, like we used to let Sarg or Jerry, didn't we, Delphay, you get at him, like, go on then. Mm. You'd leave him 1v1. Yeah. Nothing now has changed. The only difference is now Liverpool aren't uh, dominating the ball where they used to. So he's having to defend more. Van Dyke is having to defend more. Yeah, true that. And now people are going, oh, he's not as good as I thought he was. Yeah. They are really good, but now they're having to do it more than they ever did. A different because role. the last two yeah. or three years, they've dominated the ball, they've had 60-70% possession, and they're high intensity and on top of it. And um, I don't think anything's changed with Trent. I don't personally think he goes to the World Cup before yeah. this year, because I don't think he's um, he's more reliable than Kyle Walker, Rhys James, yeah. Kieran Trippier. Yeah. Like if I'm Gareth Southgate, they, them three have never let me down. Mm. Why do I need to bring Trent? Yeah, be you know interesting. It's a great um, point about that, though, because I think you're right. Liverpool's defence line is a lot deeper, which mm-hmm. means you can get in behind Trent more. Their intensity has dropped. They were pressing teams in yeah. their own half, and they're not. And I think that's a hangover from last year, where they just had a ridiculous season. They're blown out. Squad, yeah. No energy left. So they're sitting deeper, and I think it's hurting Van Dijk as well. I think Van Dijk yeah. works better on a higher line. Even the keeper, though, Ben. Yeah. 
Yeah. Keeper's not looking as no, solid as he was. Near what yeah. he was last season. There's a few goals going. We well, can't in sweep few... as much, can he? Because he's having to defend his balls. Yeah, more. true that. Yeah. Like, you remember playing against Liverpool? I remember playing against Liverpool and just <laughs> shitting myself. <laughs> you every... going? Yeah. Please be less than six. Every time six. I had the ball, I'm thinking, well, I ain't going to have no time to do anything. <laughs> just kick the thing as fast as he can. I remember once James Milner shutting me down. <laughs> James Milner. Um, well, anyway, we've got to move on because we've spoke about Liverpool and Arsenal way too much. Um, Want to do what you're wearing? Right, Troy D, I've got to start with you with this beautiful, beautiful Real Madrid shirt. Before yep. we before we tell you what year it's from, because I now know because I've done my research, obviously. Mark, if you had to guess what year that Real Madrid shirt's from, what are you going to say? I'm sure you told me as well. No! <laughs> <laughs> told me to guess. <laughs> all right, I'm going to tell you what he said. Anyway, he said 2005. <laughs> he was miles off, all right? This is, in fact, Troy, from 1998, 1999 season. Yep. Just give me a list of some of the names of the players that wore that bad boy. Kerumbo, Oof. Seydorf, Guti, yeah. Morientes, Morientes, Raul, Eto, Eto, Davos yeah. Suka. Oh, it's a powerful you. shirt. Good, that good name it is absolutely you. beautiful. And it's uh, Aitor Karanka as oh, well. It's a good <laughs> name for you. Sneaky See? one in there. Sneaky one there for the old quiz masters. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a world class shirt. It's the year that was going into the Galacticos. Yeah. When Bex and yeah. Zidane and everyone, it was it was just that transitional yeah, period. And yeah, yeah. I've got a thing for like retro shirts. Have you? But yeah, you've got a nice little the, collection of you. Yeah. I've got loads, mate. Yeah. You so, um you've done us a favour today as well, and you bought some match worn shirts and some yes. of the bad boys that you've got. Yeah, you ready Which, to pull them out and show? Yeah, us, whenever yeah? you're ready, mate. Go you want it now? Now, mate. All right. So, uh, so I've, yeah. have a look at some of these shirts. It's like Art Attack is what I did earlier. Have a look at some of these <laughs> shirts, by the way. So I got, I got Kevin's. Oh, you would appreciate oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin well, he had a shirt. United shirt last week, so get the lighter. Yeah, he did, didn't he? <laughs> he yeah. was going to burn it, yeah. Um, Troy, when you get your match-worn shirts... They all stink. Do you wash them? Nope. Are they all... This they is all, all like... Oh. Yeah. You need to tell him. See that? You need to wash them. Do you wash them? KD, yeah, I always wash them. This one stinks. Yeah. This one stinks. We've got big Virgil. Oh. Virgil van Dijk. Yeah. So, so Kevin De Bruyne either. wears a uh, medium. KDB's a medium, by the way. What's Virgil? Yeah, XL. Is he big XL? Yeah, yeah big lad. Look, big that lad. one stinks. That one's that was horrendous. Oh yeah, that he's old kid. A little yeah, he's <laughs> Get here. And then I've got a Oof. an old school one. This is obviously from when we played in lockdown. This is a Bamiang. Oh yeah, nice. Yes, it's a Bamiang at Arsenal. What size is that? This might be a large as well. Oh wow. He liked a baggy one, didn't he? Yeah, he did. That is a bit big. That I yeah. think that'd fit me. You know. <laughs> oh mate. They are beautiful shirts. Are you going to get them framed and put on the wall or what? Yeah, I've got loads. Do you know what I'm doing? I'm working out whether to do it in the office or not. A bit like you. Don't know yeah, whether to yeah, do it yeah. in the office or, or like, have something for the kids. But I've got, I got a few more. I was going to bring in Pepe Reina. Oh, he's as behind you. He's, I've got one literally behind you. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Super Pepe Reina. That's a yeah. Lazio shirt. It's nice. I had his Villa one. Oh. He's the only Villa player I've ever asked for a shirt because he was a legend, wasn't he? So I thought... I remember the game. I played in that game yes. with you, and it was the one where he was just sidewinding everything. Yes. Yep. He was just drilling balls out from. So, and that, I, I, even I was clapping. Like, hey, <laughs> what a player you are! What a yeah. goalkeeper! No, I've got, yeah, but I think with retro shirts, so like I've got, um, I've got an old school R nine shirt. Nice. That one he's already hung up. But what, you know, Milan? No, no, no. Brazil World Cup. Um, oh, yeah. Ninety eight. Naughty haircut. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But I got a match worn one. Missus bought me that for my birthday. Oh, that was a few, few quid that I was nice. buzzing with. That That's, that one's already up in the house. Got Maradona shirt. Oh. Uh, Gucci shirt. Here we go. Uh, Here we put, go. Put some of the big boys out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you get into mate. that situation when you play for the smaller clubs with yeah. all due respect? No, where because to get those right, sort to of kill shirts. my career, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's but that's fine. not it's not easy. Fifteen years of this, and he just went that little club you played for. <laughs> <laughs> Check my Wikipedia. Zero. Zero. But, you managed one though, haven't you, mate? You yeah, managed, managed one. It, yes. But, but getting a De Bruyne one, it's not. Unless you play um, three or four times, it's yeah. Like, do you know what happens? You've though? got a lot of the players, eleven players on the pitch. And ben, Ben can attest this. When you, like you say, we are smaller clubs. You, you actually, you get more respect when they go like, like Virgil. Go, oh Troy, well done. Yeah. I remember played uh, Man City away in the FA Cup. Um, we lost three two, but this was like early Watford, like Zola year, yeah. two thousand and thirteen, mm. and I did a pass and Yaya Torre went. Oh, Good ball, mate. And I swear to God, I got a little bit of blood in it. I was buzzing. <laughs> I was buzzing. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, Torre said hello oh, to me. I but feel then, like, warm. Yeah, then afterwards you go off and you're like, it was, oh, I was a game. And I said, like, oh, yeah, yeah, spoke to me. That, that was all I cared about. And then like, over time period, like once you're, you're delivering on, on that stage, they're like, it's a bit of respect, isn't yeah, it? So if nice, you go to yeah. them like, can I get a shirt or whatever? And I went through like eight years where I just give it all to my best mate. 
You know, you know this, the yeah, white yeah, lad is with me. Yeah. He's got the best shirt collection you've ever seen. <laughs> he's got Harry Kane, he's got loads of people. He's got uh, Thierry Henry when he oh, came back. Oh, God. And he's like, I go, oh, you, got, you know, give me one of them shirts. He's like, nope, you lost hey, it. Do you see how much they're worth nowadays? Yeah. All these old, like, match worn shirts and stuff like that. They are it, worth an absolute fortune. He would never, he would never sell them, but because oh. he, he's a football, like, of course, he's yeah, a football yeah, head, yeah, yeah. but it's like all these shirts for about eight years. He would just come to me, like, we're playing Spurs, get me a cane one. Yeah, no problems. Harry, can eat your shirt? Yeah, of course, Troy. I'd come back up, throw him the shirt, and then I'd be like, what am I doing here? I'm just giving away, like... <laughs> Harry Kane. Yeah, memorabilia. But... Oh, it's nice. Well the, well, the big thing is, as well, these players like Henri, they only, once, they, once they retired, they retired, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be horrible if you had a Ronaldo match-worn shirt and you, you let your lad add it and he lose it, wouldn't it? I did that. That's exactly what I did. It's, I'd about to say, that sounded uh, like... Propped up that. It was like, yeah, yeah. like it was a lo yeah, um, loaded question. He didn't lose it. I, he sold it, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to look out for him. Got it in his Monzo. Yeah, he's all right. He's, he's got, yeah, it's not even there in his FIFA coins. <laughs> yeah, straight into Probably PlayStation like Network. Deal or something. Probably needed a fiver or something. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, talk to me about this beauty here. So this is a reversible one as well because it's gold underneath. 2001-2. Yeah. 100 year in the Football League centenary for Man United. Um, they'd just won three titles in a row. They mm. didn't win the title in this one. This oh. was the year when Sir Alex said he was going to retire and it all went to... to all part went of yeah, yeah. You that was a rebuild, Varane, didn't it? Uh, Varane, yes. Varane in, the t in it. I remember Varane in it. But, uh, yeah, it just went wrong for United. We'd, we'd, we'd won three titles in a row and we bought Varane in and it was like this dream midfield of Beckham, mm -hmm. Skulls, Giggs, Keane and Varane and it, and it just went a little... Did Chelsea win the league that season? I've also Probably got, Arsenal, I think. Oh yeah, I've also yeah. got a random... Quinton Fortune. Oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, had that. Yeah. You know the yeah, yeah, random yeah. players. You can picture them, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jemba yeah. Jemba, maybe. Too late. I, think that's I too can't late picture there. him in anything. Nah, I tried to <laughs> erase him. Erase him. Nah, that's too late. <laughs> yeah. no. um, right. So you got Man United shirt on. Brings me on nicely. Yeah. To the Man United game last night. A weird seven thirty. Seven thirty was it? Yeah. Seven o'clock. I, I still don't know why. Stupid. Super. Super weird. Seven o'clock kickoff. BT Sports. Um, it was a good win in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, I think you go to Everton, seven points from nine. Mm -hmm. Tough place to go, I'm sure you'd agree, lads. Yeah, it Goodison is, isn't Park. It? Yeah, it's yeah. one of the few grounds I remember as a kid. It won't be there for much longer. Chucking it down with rain. I thought, if you're going to go there and win, you're going to earn it. Yep. And um, we went one nil down. And then we ended, there was times where we had 70% possession. Mm. Um, it should have been 3-1, Rashford's goal. Yep. And then, then the last five minutes, then bombarding oh. you. You've got to fight for it. So after the derby, um, I'm over the moon with that. I think it's a step in the right direction. I thought Casemiro made such a difference that midfield. And yeah. I think they thoroughly deserved it. And you don't normally say that with United at the moment. Mm -hmm. So character, there was some good phases of play. Ronaldo coming on, Martial getting injured. There was loads went on. And to come out, I'm really, I'm really pleased with the yeah. win at 2-1 at Everton. Respect to Everton. We made them look quite average as well. Yeah. Um, Troy, talk to me about... What it's like when you've got somebody like Casemiro, right? Mm -hmm. Like that, he's got this gravity about him. Of course. You know what I mean? He's a world class player. What's it, what does it do when you put somebody like that in central midfield and he's starting the game and he knows he's got that? What does it do, not only for his own team, but the opposition as well? It just, for the opposition, you go, oh, God. Yeah. You, you, you've been there, mate. And you're thinking, I see the team sheet two hours before, you go, oh. No, how it's many true. Champions, how many Champions League has he won? And <laughs> you know what I mean? And you start going through his career, you go, fucking hell, he's good at him. But I think. Because I, I I did match the day the other day when they um, when he didn't play in the yeah. derby, and I would say from my perspective, he's got to be going in Monday morning. Going, how am yeah. I not playing here? And I I love Scott Scott McTominay. He is what he is, and he, and that's not being disrespectful. Yeah. But not if Casemiro. Casemiro has to be in there because his job at Real Madrid was break it up, win it, give it to better players. That's what United have in front of him, yeah. and that's not again not being disrespectful. He's won five Champions League, and he's. Career is 58 million times better than mine. Uh -huh. But just as a perspective, I look at it and go, how is Scott playing over him? Yeah. How is Fred getting game time over him? Yeah. Well, Again, I remember you before, a few years ago, mm. I think you did something with us with, on the United Standing. You said about Fred, all yeah. due respect to Fred, but we knew you can get after him. You Mate, you after was, you've touch. been in the meetings. That's yeah, what yeah. we used to do. We, we used to sit touch. off, let it go to Fred, and then he would take two and three touches. If you watch him, Slightly improved now, but he never does anything one touch. It's always two, three, yeah. sometimes four. Mm. So as soon as he has it, that was our trigger to go. Yeah. And that's not just Fred, by the way. You play Liverpool, Trent might be your trigger. Like yeah. you'll have a, a side. Well, yeah, every club does it. Go, mm. don't get, it, don't get it right all the time. But you'll go. Here's your trigger. He'll lose it, and if he loses it, we're we're now at their back four. Yeah. And also we're going that way while they're trying to back. So yeah, it got kind of taken out of context. What I meant by that, but um. 
That's a valid amazing. point, though, mate. It's a it really is, valid point. It is, yeah, but you know, like some people, yeah. like, some yeah. Man United fans go, oh, you shouldn't be allowed to say that. No. It, like, it's like the Arsenal thing, and it, like, you can't talk about Arsenal. But actually, if you listen for the next six weeks, everyone said what I said. Exactly. But exactly. it's just because sort of different voices. But like, say, so those meetings that would go on before games, like the mm -hmm. day before or whatever, and you'd see Casemiro. So if you know Casemiro starting, it, it, you can't even talk about him because yeah. everybody knows what that guy does. Everybody yes. knows that you can't get at him. So mm -hmm. it's like, right, who else can we pick on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, have yeah. To, yeah. you have to find other players. So when you play in Man City, you can't find anybody. Do you know what I mean? You but, can't. Uh, but, that's the but, difference. And then the thing that no one likes to say is you try and level it up, don't you? So yeah. you know you're playing City, United, any of the big boys, you go, well, they're all better than us. So now we've got to do an equaliser. If I'm playing like Troy, beat him up. Yeah, boom. Fuzzy, well, we're not even going to try and play out from the back. Hit Troy on the diag. Troy, look after it, beat him up. That was just standard Saturday, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but like, Antonio does it world class for West Ham, doesn't he? Yeah, like, he does, yeah. He wins his own flick ons and run through people. He's not, you know, great on the eye, Mikel. Like, my, my friend is really good. Not great on the eye, but fuck me. Any defender in the Premier will go, don't want to play against him. Yeah. And that's what worried me yesterday about Everton because I mm. looked at that midfield of Idris Gay, yes. Awobi, and Anana. Mm -hmm. I thought Ericsson, Bruno, they went up for it last week. Mm -hmm. Casemiro's coming in, might be a risk. And I thought, you know, Everton, they're going to they're gonna yeah. fight you. They're going to fight you. Kobe I thought Everton missed the trick, though, to be yeah. fair, because they tried to beat them up. Mm. They didn't. They tried to beat them up when they had the ball, but they never imposed themselves on Ericsson. Yeah, yeah. I would have like, liked to see like Ericsson and Fernandez because, interested in your opinion on this. I'm a big Fernandez lover of the stats, mm. but I think he goes missing in a lot of games. Yeah. I think yesterday was an interesting one on that yeah. as well because again it divides opinion. I do like Bruno, but mm. I, I just I don't really get what he's at at the moment for mm -hmm. the last year or so. He's so close to the attacker, and I think you, you might you want to get him. Look at De Bruyne. Yes, he doesn't hang off Haaland. He, he gets all involved. Yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Place and Bruno's good enough to do that, but, but I'm for, hoping Ten Hag will get more out. Yeah, of but for me when. When Man United are winning, he's world class. Mm -hmm. When you're losing, he's the biggest moaner and yeah. like finger pointer. Yes, and you know what that's like, man. When you're in the team, oh yeah. mate, that'll drive me mental. <laughs> that would. Yeah. Mate. You know, it's like it's not a motivator. Then, no, he's he's, like he's, like he's like he's like a front runner. Mm -hmm. You know, like when things yeah. are good, he's like, oh, well done, mate. We're all great, and then when we lost, your fault, not mine. <laughs> that's how it comes across. Like I, again, I don't know. He's, him, he's so. inconsistent. He's gone really inconsistent. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think that's something that so everyone knew when Ten Hag came into the team. He's got, you're right, even the way he plays is like that. He'll get the ball and he'll hit five Hollywood passes. Yes. Two of them will work and he'll go, oh, what a ball, but three of them, no. Yeah. Um, do you know what I want to talk about as well is um, Anthony Martial, okay? So mm -hmm. came off injured, what, in about 35th minute or something like that? He walked straight down the tunnel. Mm -hmm. he, he came back, he was sat in his tracks. Yeah, afterwards, after after half time. 100% someone's yeah. going to have told him, aren't they? After half time, he mm -hmm. came back in his tracksuit, all right? But there was still 10 minutes left of that mm -hmm. first half, right? And he went straight up the tunnel, right? And it was one all at this point. And I'm thinking, why are you going straight up the tunnel? Don't you need an ice bath? I'm, no, I don't know, no. I'm in your answer. Sit there, it doesn't what? matter what you need, it's yeah. 10 minutes, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just sit there, yeah. get behind your team, and then walk in with them and do whatever you need to do. You, I don't mind you coming out 10 minutes late for the second half because mm -hmm. you're about to have a shower or treatment or whatever, but you can't just go walking up the tunnel. It's not cool, is it? I, I, I don't know, I have a bad answer to you again. I, I, I saw the physio going with him, and he had, before the game, I was told that he'd, he'd gone off. With yeah, I saw injury. that. Yeah, mm. and I thought I oh, went bloody start. He's made a glass, and then he did come out, and then I'm like, why has he started? Because he's he got no. an assist, but, but it's like you know, it is a bit. I think that's like a it's a generational thing. Yeah, because that like the the younger the 25s and under now go like I've just got got to do this. Where we go, no, it's all the team, team. together. Like if we get if we got to sit here and watch them, even like. I was on the bench on Saturday. I was the biggest cheerleader. Yeah. To the point where the lads were like, shut up. Yeah. I'm like, nah, look, we're all in well, it. I'm it, fuming lads. I'm yeah. not playing, but once the game starts, like it's all of us. Yeah, this is my job bit. for now. This yeah, is yeah. And my job. You come instead. on and you do whatever. Or if you come off injured, it's not down the tunnel. I just think it looks poor. Yeah. It just, it strikes me with a team, again, not this is not Man United, but this is just in general. Like, if someone does that and no one's pulled him and gone, sit here, or there's a fine attached to that, it, it's like, Individuals more than a team. Yeah, and there's no leaders. In no, there's really, no, I mean, there's really, no one that's holding holding that uh, accountability. Is yeah. there? It's really interesting that two players are ex players. Well, you're still playing. Um, Just about. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. I, I You've honestly that, killed my that. career. Honestly, it's fine. <laughs> Anything else? You what, know? what league are you playing? I don't know. <laughs> MLS. Sunday League, yeah, Sunday League, I think. MLS soon. No, yeah. the MLS, mate. Yeah. But no, I just Tuesday and Thursday we train at seven. That because, <laughs> because that will hit. That will hit yeah. with other players in the United team. Yeah. And, and I, you know, as a fan, 
I think there'll be fans going, oh, I didn't really think about that. And that's mm -hmm. the great thing when you get the opinion from, from yeah. yourselves. Because that's, not... because that's like, well, no, you, you've got to be part of the team. You know? you have, yeah. you, it's, not, it's not the physio that's made him walk in the tunnel. It's no. him because he just went. Right? Yeah. Because he just went, the physio has to follow him at that yeah, point yeah. to make it look like, oh, we're going in. We're doing it team. together, yeah. It's not cool. Physio man. saved it. Saved it's not him, cool. It? You've got to stay there, watch your team, support them, get behind them, all right? Mm, interesting, yeah. Um, anyway, good win. Um, so I right. you mentioned 700 goals, by the way. Oh, my yeah. God. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we, we, Come on. we've got to mention this. Before we get into CR700, by the way, all right, I just want to talk. I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of a goalkeeping bit here, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, because I just think um, for both the goals yesterday, for Man United's goals, um, I think Jordan Pickford will watch this back today and he'll be a little bit disappointed with his positioning on both goals. Mm -hmm. So, um, first goal for the Anthony goal, I don't think he needs to go and get involved there. Yeah. yeah? The, really? the, the defenders are coming back, Tarkovsky's, Tarkovsky's coming back across, he can cover that space. The fact that he's out there makes Anthony's mind up for him. He, yeah. The only thing he can, it's like, oh my God, the goal is out. Easy, I, from a striker's perspective, it's easier. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. if you're and in that position... as well as he goes, opens his body up, he can whip but it But the keeper's made his mind up, whereas if the keeper stays, yeah. it's, the keeper looks big in the, in the goal, like because he's a bit more distance, got big Tarkovsky exactly, with him. He's yeah. like, oh wow, don't know what to do here. And he's got time to think, no, keeper's out, it's like, oh, just miss him. Mm. Harlan does it really well. He there misses the goalkeeper. As soon as he misses, you can't save. It's done. Yeah. He's not trying to put the corners. He's just just beat him and he'll go in. But if he so, stay, if, if Pickford stays in goal there, he has to take another finish. touch. Yeah, yeah. He'll take another touch. By that time, Tarkovsky's on him. He's mm -hmm. got him. He's cool. But it, it sort of makes his mind up for him. So the first goal, yeah, I think he's out of position. And then the second goal, again, he's just too far out. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The defenders, Cody's coming back. I'm not saying he's going to get there. But what I am saying is, Ronaldo takes another touch, mm -hmm. possibly, and then not even that. Pickford being two, three, four steps further back just gives him that little bit more time. It's not a good Changes. angle to score. Yeah. It's not, it's, no. I must admit, when he was running through and he scored, I was like, oh, it's Ronaldo. Oh. But I thought, you know, it's not an easy angle to score no. from there. Yeah. And he's on his left foot as well. Mm -hmm. If it goes through Pickford's legs, straight through the middle, cool. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't. It's to the side of it. And it's only because he hasn't got that reaction time. If he's two or three steps back, he's, he's got that little bit more reaction time to get down and make the save. Half so a I think, second or so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's probably not even half a second, but it's just enough to make the save. So I think he'll watch it today and he'll be so a little bit disappointed. Line on both then, yeah? yeah, too far off, basically. Just too eager to get but involved and, and be to out say, there. But that, when I watch him, especially for Everton, he's, too, he's, he's a crowd pleaser. Yeah, he's an eager goalie. Yeah, I... I think Ramsdale's gone the opposite way. I thought Ramsdale was at Sheffield United and now he's calmed and he's yeah. like he's matured into a leader. I feel like Pickford plays up for the crowd. Yeah. Like I've got I've got to do something. Like he's always throwing himself everywhere. But when he plays for England, he's miles better. It's, it's a weird. It's Who weird. would you have as your England number one then? Ramsdale. As it stands, Ramsdale. Yeah. I think Ramsdale's developed into a really, really Brilliant, good goalkeeper. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Yeah. Calm down. It's like he's settled into the position now. He knows his role. He knows what he can do, mm -hmm. what he can't do, what he should do, shouldn't do. And he's just nice and chill with it. Did now. you go Ramsdale as well? I don't know. This is the thing, though, because like you say there, when Pickford plays for England, I, I, I love him. Honestly, mm -hmm. I do. I absolutely love him. I think as well, with that all or nothing, Ramsdale come across really well. Yeah. Even when they were winning, like, how have we let a goal in? And that's stuff that we know. Because, yeah. like, goalkeepers are the weird people. He's not going to tell you, but they are weird people. So, like, you could win 5 1, and everyone's buzzing, like, oh, wow, don't we want we the keeper go, fucking hell, we let a goal in. You like shit. And, like, I they get all, they, yes, you have loads of times. <laughs> and they all get, like, really arsy about it. But that's the sign of, like, raising your standards. Like, yeah. yes, you lot did that, but fucking hell, we didn't. And also at the same time, if we, we draw nil nil, goalkeeper will be buzzing, but we go, come on, strikers. Yeah. Done our job. And it just raises the standard, yeah, raises the bar, doesn't you need it? need people constantly pushing, constantly yeah, yeah. picking at tiny little things. But I think I think that's an important point with Ramsdale as well. I mean, he's in a title race, he's in Europe. The standard is a lot higher than what he's doing, whereas Pickford's you know, mm. he's, he's messing around with a our mid table relegation side, isn't he? You're messing just killing around. careers yeah. today, yeah. <laughs> messing just, around. Just messing <laughs> around. With, what, what he's just messing talking? around with his stuff. You know, he's I'm going in on Pickford, you start <laughs> off. You called him a crowd pleaser. <laughs> he is a crowd pleaser, he is. Uh, um, <laughs> right, lads, this is absolute world class football chat. Do you know that? Yeah, it's absolute world class. But Troy, do you know what time it is right now? No, I don't. no, you don't. I'm You're going to so I'll tell you what time on, it is. Tell me right? what time it is. I haven't prepped you for this, so you haven't got a clue. But your football knowledge is incredible. I know it is. Yeah. Okay. You're a man of a worldly man of football. All right. Yes. It is time for the world famous football fill in sixty second quiz. All right. Okay. You see who's top of the league at the minute, I by the did, way. Yeah. It's, yeah, there's question marks around that, but it's all right. Right, we'll see anyway. Okay, I have got a uh, a random bunch of questions ready for you. All right. Okay. Uh, we'll start a 60-second timer in a minute. Yeah. 
and we'll see how you get on, all right? How did you go? Really well. How did uh, you go? I, I, I got six, but he keeps getting me to do random weeks, and whenever I do well, I have to stick uh, to six. Okay. Goldbridge is on six, but I his first done, attempt, he got like three or something like that, but I get him another go. I've done an eight. Yeah, but that, it's because you do it every do you week. Know, you are going to get one eventually. Do you know what happens you? as well with Ben? He did this on the Watt bike. Fantastic. When you beat him, he changes it. Changes, he changes the rules. Yeah, yeah, he changes the rules. <laughs> so we had the Watt bike. And this, this is for everyone. This will be great on your, your shorts and that. So we had the Watt bike and it was like the uh, 500 metre challenge and I beat him on it and he was fuming. So then he went, oh, it's the 1K challenge now. <laughs> and then I beat him on that and yeah. he went, about a week he stayed on the bike, didn't he? Come in, he was like... He's crap anyway. I don't even want to do and it. He's like proper pet K challenge. Yeah. It was a three K yeah. challenge. Proper like petulant kid. You know, like I'm taking my ball and going home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, it's crap anyway. No one uh, even wants to do this it. Is, it's the same with the quiz. <laughs> All right, shut up. Anyway, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's Troy Deedy on the football filling 60 second quiz. Jamie, have you got a timer ready for me? Good to go. Yeah. I go know on, you have. Give me a countdown from three, and we will get it gone. Three, two, one, go. Who scored the only hat trick in the Euro 2008? Wow. 2008, Jesus. You can pass if you want. Pass. David Villa. Who scored the winner in the Crystal Palace versus League game this weekend? Oh, I didn't even watch it at the NFL. Uh, let me throw one out there. Wilfred. Eze. Oh. Which player scored four goals in 12 minutes after coming on as a sub versus Nottingham Forest? Four goals in... This is years 12 ago. 12 minutes. Against who? Oh, this is a bad question, this is. This has been worded so shit. Yeah. We're going to start again. Solskjaer. We're going to start again. He's got it. It's who? Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Yeah, There's no context around yeah. this whatsoever. <laughs> Jamie, who made these questions? I'm being stitched up. Is this you? Know. I want it to be known. I'm being stitched up. This is up. a shambles. But there's no Stop. context. So yeah. it says, what player scored four goals in 12 minutes after coming on as a sub, on as a sub versus Nottingham Forest, right? So all we need Who, to do is when, which, when? Man, United which yes. Manchester United player <laughs> yeah, yes. scored that would four help goals out. in yeah. whatever That could year. have been anyone from any year at any time. But thanks for that. Cheers. So, no. Jamie, shambles, we're going to start we the start whole again. timer start again. Start the whole right? timer again from quizzes out. Come on, Troy, I need to liven up. Yeah, so do you know what? You're buzzing with this. This is like a second chance for you. Yeah, right? yeah, a sec- yeah. An extra life. Thanks you for the use your extra way. life, all right? By the way, Man United question. That's what I'm it's saying. Not be me. How am I going to know that? Unbelievable. Right, Jamie, give me a new timer. We're going to start the quiz again, all right? I'm sorry, everybody. Get in the comments down below. Give yeah. Jamie some grief, would you? Chesney stinks, mate. Oh, stinks. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we ready, Jay? Yeah, I'm ready, mate. Have you seen a picture? Is, do people know who Jay, what Jamie looks Jamie, like? Jamie's popped his head in a few times okay. before. Jamie but, is Chesney. Yeah, if, if, Chesney. if you put Chesney from, what was he in, Curry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chesney and Curry, Paul Scholes or Matty Longstaff. Yeah. And, like, imagine... And you they all of, had, like, a weird baby. A weird freeway, yeah. yeah, it'd, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. it'd yeah. be weird, but that's what I it would look like. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love we you, love Chesney. you, though. <laughs> OK, Jiminy, give me that three-second countdown. Okay. Who scored the third goal in the Arsenal v Liverpool game this weekend? Saka. Yes. Which Premier League club has had the fewest losses ever in one season? Arsenal. Yes. How many goals were scored in the Newcastle Brentford game this weekend? Six. Yes. What colour was the ball in the 1973 FA Cup final, which was never used again? Red. Orange. Oh. What were the only home team not to score this weekend? Oh, Jesus. Only home team. Uh, random. Let's go. You can pass. Oh, I've gone. I've gone. <laughs> pass. Pass. I've gone. Brighton. Brighton. Uh, what was the score in the biggest Premier League home win? Oh, it was United. Uh, 9-1. 9-0. Oh! Who scored the first Premier League goal for Chelsea at the weekend? I don't even know. Babian. Rosa. Who, who has the most appearances for one club in the Premier League? Gareth Barry. Brian Giggs. Which team scored the fastest goal this weekend? Uh, Arsenal. Yes, which club has the most draws in Premier League history? Oh, I've started, most mate. Most draws? I've started. Take most draws in Premier League yeah, history. Take your time, yeah? Take your time. The most draws. Oh, this is a good I, question. I would, yeah. <coughs> you would, you'd have to go to someone who's been there the longest. Exactly. Never Everton. Been... Oh, that is very good. <laughs> very, yeah. very good. Know, about five or six. Yeah, already. Everton. Yeah. I thought you were going to beat him for a minute. No, 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 no. That's no, how no, we listen. started slowing down with him. <laughs> <laughs> what about? I couldn't get my words out fast enough. I was rapid. Uh, Jamie, what was that? Five. Five. Troy Deeney, very good. He's got Three. a good start. I hit the, hit the wall. You can go next to Darren Bent, mate, yeah? Yeah. I'll put you, um, I'll put you above Darren Bent and underneath Tubes, all right? Yeah. Um, also, Richard now. Lee, only four. I know, yeah. Disappointing. Yeah, Richard Lee was rubbish. I won't lie, he was absolutely <laughs> brutal, mate. Um, yeah, so not bad. Not bad. Brighton. I, you know what you said? What team? I literally had a... 
I thought of every championship team and no <laughs> Prem team came to my head. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I say people get so like transfixed on not wanting to pass and just thinking, I need to answer this question. <laughs> and then 10 seconds is gone and they're going, shit, shit. <laughs> Uh, right, lads, um, I want to talk about Newcastle, OK? Um, another massive win for them at the weekend. 5-1, absolutely pummeled Brentford. Newcastle fans, I think they're genuinely believing, yeah, that, that they're doing something this season, that it might be a bit sooner than what they thought, but I reckon Newcastle fans think that they're, they're actually going to get top six this season. I, I like the way that they, they're doing it. Um, mm. I think Good. I remember Man City doing it and it was like Rubinho who thought he was yeah. signing for United and stuff. But the signings they've made when you think about even Target coming in from, from Villa or Target, isn't it? Target, yeah. It's French. Um, uh, Gumerez, brilliant signing. Yeah. Isaac the, the, and, and, and then Eddie Howe. I mean, you've got to put a lot of credit again. We're talking about Arsenal mm -hmm. on the way that, I you know they're billionaires at Newcastle, but they mm -hmm. could have done it very differently. And yeah. they're doing it in a very gradual way where, like you say, probably top six this year is probably a step too soon for them. Mm -hmm. But... I might. I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect them to get top six, but I'd certainly expect them to get seventh. And yeah, yeah. they've got United next week. Yeah. If they go to Old Trafford and get a result. That, that could be the tipping point to go. You know, they are in there. So, but they do have the spending power, though. Mm. You know, where like some teams might go early and they're like, oh, we're not quite there. They could just go bang. Anything. Yeah, they could get January what they want. Big. Yeah, I, I like like you said like what they did last year, but I do see do similarities with uh, Man City. Because you remember they got like Rocky Santa Cruz, yeah, Cruz yeah. Craig Bellamy, Craig Bellamy, yeah, yeah. They, Joe. <laughs> yeah, they, do you know, they went through that spell, didn't yeah. they, where they just went, we've just got to get better. And then once they got, they got, Robinho obviously was the marquee one, yeah. but other than that, they just kind of built, 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 and then they went, here you go, here's Tevez, here's Aguero. They just yeah. went through the roof, and um, like even like Dan Burns, a great signing. He is solid, Chris, isn't he? Yeah, it? Chris Wood, obviously, for what they needed last year, he's not getting much game time. But even but, around the place, people like Chris Wood, Dan yeah. Burns, like, that's what you need, don't exactly. you? You need them lads, those solid, professional lads. I, I was everybody. worried about Eddie Howe at the to start with. I didn't know if he could handle the egos. Yeah. You know, like, at, as we know, Bournemouth was like his club, wasn't it? Everything top to bottom was how he was. I thought, could it be like a Burnley situation? You know, when he went to Burnley for yeah. like six, seven weeks or whatever it was. I thought that might be a situation, but he's gone in and they've all just gone, right, he's the governor. Yeah. And he's got Callum playing well. I know Callum's injured, but you get Callum playing well. He's Isaac, a good player he is. He's just always injured. Isn't know, yeah, strange, yeah. Isn't Hamstrings made of glass, are they? Yeah. So he's, you know, Love you, Cal, but sort of out for Hamstrings are made of class. Yeah, mate, yeah, hamstrings are all over. Like, cheese strings is what he's got, <laughs> hamstrings. But uh, you got him, you got Isaac, you, again, set maximum. They've got that flair, that the people that can go win your games, mm. Almiron. Yeah. But then they've got that core, solid base where you go, oh, you know what? These are hard to play against here. Yeah, that, well, that is that Gemara? Gemara? Yeah, Gemara. Yeah. Bruno Gemara, yeah. Gemara. Oh, he, he was Beautiful. staring it up in the French League. Yes. He was like one of these people that you get, you know, these Twitter accounts that were doing yeah, yeah, stats yeah. and they were going, this guy is amazing. And, and lo, lo and behold, he, <laughs> he, is, bloody, amazing. he is amazing. Yeah. He is amazing. He's, isn't and he? yeah, you wonder what a signing for Newcastle because it's the sort of signing that maybe a Chelsea or a United should be on. But I, th I think, like what Troy says with, with, with Newcastle, the thing is, we probably want them not to get there yet. Because yeah. when they do get there, they've got they the spending go. power oh. and they will, and suddenly Eddie Howe becomes the next Pep and yeah, Isaac yeah, yeah, yeah. becomes Mbappe because yes. they just can go like that, can't they? But the, the difference you see now as well when you look at like, someone like Gamera's, I think these younger teams, uh, smaller teams, Newcastle, big club obviously, but smaller teams, they did it with Virgil, they went, let him go to Southampton. They'll let him go, is he that good? And then you'll get a Chelsea, a United, they'll yeah, just go, there's yeah. 100 million. Mm. And they, they, I don't think the people are taking a risk anymore. So I can see him being like a Wijnaldum. They did well for like two seasons and then yeah. he goes Liverpool. Yeah. Now he's at PSG. That's it, yeah. You can see those those teams happening. And you could see him at United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah could, oh. We'll just pay 200 million for it. That's yeah. It. May as well, yeah. Over the top, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> talk to me about even Tony. Um, scored a penalty. I know they got absolutely pumped. And mm -hmm. defensively, I've got to say, by the way, Brentford were absolutely shambolic. They gave some seriously stinking goals away, right? Mm -hmm. um, but even Tony hasn't missed a penalty now, yeah? In three years, Troy. Yeah. Right? From a penalty expert yourself, and I can attest to this because I've seen them for front row seats, absolute nailsville down the middle, <laughs> take the goalie's head off. Um, uh, how much of a skill is it to be able to step up there, mm -hmm. deal with that pressure, and just score every single time? So the way the way he does it is is really good because it's he does make his mind up before, but he's also watching the keeper, watching give me a little tell, yeah, yeah. and then to hit it as cleanly as he does because we see Jorginho, he doesn't hit it as clean all the time, and when you miss. They do look really pony, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But easy to them bang in the corner. Lyle Taylor was really good at that as well. Yeah, we yeah. had him last year at Blues. Penalty taking, you have to go, oh, he's proper. But I would take him to the Euros. 
for that situation. Really, yeah. Yeah, I think he's... Just in case you get to a shootout. Well, we look where we got into the Euros and we ended up putting like Rashford at right back and whatever. We're going... I don't... These guys aren't clean penalty takers. Yeah. I actually spoke to my missus about it yesterday. When Saka takes a penalty now, I'm more convinced he'll score. Yeah. Because yeah. he's now going up with assurance. When he, he went up experience. in the Euros, he yeah. was a bit, yeah. bit wobbly, a bit unsure. Um, Rashford doesn't take him for United, does he? No. On a regular no. basis. Yeah. So I don't... I'd like to have someone that continually takes penalties going just for the case of like, we need to get through this whatever game, whatever stage of the game might be. Ivan, you're, you're on for the last two minutes, you're well, taking a penalty. Yeah, you can plan it, can't you? In of course you can. Cup, like you said, yeah, yeah. He's coming and uh, yeah, didn't even get a minute, did he? When he no, but I was a bit disappointed in that. I thought, we don't need to, we know what Kane does. He's playing. Oh, like, just put one Wouldn't of the you? other lads in, give Tammy a go, give Ivan a go and let's see what they, and if they fail, but that's what I thought the manager did. What, didn't want him to do well because mm. now he has to make a decision. A decision, yeah. yeah. So if I just don't allow that, but <laughs> I appease people by going, look, they've came in, but now he's, he's not made a difficult decision because he could drop them now. No one's going to say anything. Um, right back then, Ter uh, Kieran Trippier. Kieran Trippier, I nearly said that. <laughs> Kieran Trippier. Um, Honestly, lads, I think he's my starting right back for England at the uh, at the World Cup. I do. I love him to bits, mate. I do. I know what I'm going to get from Ooh. him. You're talking nonsense. I do. I love him, mate. Who are you starting then? Rhys James. No, I, I'm with you for sure. I just don't I think. Don't I don't rate Trippier that much. Really? No, he's a crowd, he's a crowd pleaser. No, well, he's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no play for Everton. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, well, United nearly bought him, and I was never that impressed with it. I think he's a I think he's a good right back, and I think he's but for Two me, England is better. Is, uh, no, no, um, <laughs> but he's. Um, I'd take him. I'd always take him as a backup. Yeah. I think he's yeah. got a very good set piece. Mm. Um, very steady. Can play multiple positions. But I did you see his assist on Saturday? Oh. Yeah. But I think Reese James is on a different level. I don't think Reese James. I think can he's. Do a, that I think he's the best manage, yeah. all round right back. I, I would play him left back. Yeah, for sure. I play him. Left. That's. Yeah. I think that's the beauty of Kieran Trippier. You can Trippier, do that. Yeah. And I will play Reese right right wing back. And if we're gonna play a five, yeah. I don't. I like Luke Shaw. He's never let England down. But yeah, sure. It it doesn't. I don't know what he does. That's going to sound really bad, but like he's not a great going forward. He's not a great defender. He's just Physically, seven out of ten. Aerially, he's yeah, he's brilliant. like seven out of ten. He's good at everything. He's okay at everything. He's not great at anything. Yeah. I prefer to have trips, especially when we're going to try and dominate the ball, getting those crosses in, coming inside on his right foot, which allows the H to run Set on. Set pieces, yeah. corners, free kicks. Yeah. Boom. I just, I just think he's, he has to play for me. I don't. Yeah, like I said, I don't see Luke dominating the left back situation. I think he so. The left back who you've signed, yeah, Malasia. Malasia. very, very good. Yeah. I like him. He's like when I watch him, he's got a bit of bite, and he's yeah, like, he yeah, ever back in the day, you can see like a little horrible bastard. Yeah, so, like, yeah. I think, all right, I'll go to war with him. Yeah. When I watch Luke Shaw, I'm like, not sure, but like he's yeah. good. He's he's good. You're not slagging him off, but he's I like, know. I don't, I don't see it for a United player. I want better every time. Yeah, um, can we do a podcast on the England um, squad selection um, nearer to the World Cup, lads? Yeah, mm. because it's fantastic. I love this talk. <laughs> uh, right, it's time for uh, Champ and Chump of the Week. <laughs> right, lads, uh, Champ of the Week. We've got a good few nominations this week. We've actually got four nominations, all right? Um, so it'll be interesting to see what you think, all right? And I'll, I'll talk you through them. So we've got Bruno Guimaraes. 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 Uh, brilliant. Uh, Bukayo Saka, two goals um, for Arsenal at the weekend. Um, CR 700. Cristiano Ronaldo, just for the fact he has scored that 700th club goal, which is just bonkers. Yeah. Um, and finally, bringing up the rear, Gary O'Neill. Mm. Bournemouth, five games in charge so far, by the way, for Gary O'Neill. Two wins, three draws, some sort of turnaround. Who are we thinking for Champ of the Week? Come on, Troy. I go O'Neill based on that, what you just said love there. That. Yeah, yeah, love yeah. that. I, I didn't. I didn't see that coming. It's before. incredible that yeah, some yeah. turnaround. So off the back of the nine 0 yes. defeat against Liverpool, Gary O'Neill come in, took charge. Mm -hmm. That is a fantastic little turnaround, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, really fantastic. Can we stop calling them a little club though, because they're not a little club. Do you know what? They've just been bought out by yes. a new American like billionaire owner as well. Another one. Another, another one. Owner, yeah. Another billionaire. They need a new owner. round though. Eleven thousand in the prem. Well, yeah, not much we can do about that, is there? Oh, it's a little just... club, isn't it? Yeah, no. <laughs> well, you know what? They pay good. They get. They yeah, spend they a do. lot of money, but yeah. they all consider this little club. It used to wind us up like Watford, didn't it? Hey, but they used to yeah. they used to pay like ten times more than what we were paying, and they were a little club, yeah, and we're like, yeah. and we're expected to stay up. It's like, all right, decent. Bournemouth, um, Bournemouth is a tough old place to go. You know? Yeah, yeah. Even though it's like eleven. Tough to get like, a ticket. Uh, yeah, yeah, tough to get in. Yeah. Eleven thousand. Seriously, you lot are all from down there, aren't they? 
Manchester United fans right, are all down oh, there. Oh, I like it. That's, what, right. that's why the United fans <laughs> get a ticket. Get a ticket for I like it, I like it. Um, right, should we all agree? Are we going for Gary O'Neill? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to give Gary O'Neill. I do feel, feel bad not giving it to Ronaldo because I think 700 goals yeah, is, is an amazing achievement, but he's had so many awards. Let's, wins, let's give it to Gary O'Neill. Yeah. yeah, Gary O'Neill. Um, realistically, is he going to be offered the job? Well, I don't see why you shouldn't do, but I don't think he will, mm, will he? New, no. own, new owners yeah, always want a new say, manager, don't they? Yeah, I can see the new owner say it like, fakes, well, no name. fakes. Yeah, yeah. You've got to make your, your step. A bit that like Chelsea. That's best for him, though, because, to be honest, he keeps the job. It will dip. He'll get the sack anyway. Maybe yeah, he'll where do you go from, from that. There? He might get a job in the championship or something like that. Yeah. yeah. It's been a good little... Like, it's been fantastic for him either way, but... He was doing um, 23s before, wasn't he? Yeah, he was doing yeah, like, yeah, 23s, yeah. just helping out all that kind of stuff. Uh, Gary O'Neill, you are the champ of the week. There you go. Highlight of your career. Hey. Oh, wow. you're horrible. So far, <laughs> killing people. You're horrible. Managerial career. Yeah. Yes, managerial career. Yeah. yeah. Not um, his whole career. Chump of the week, lads. Right, chump of the week. Um, I've got I've got a couple couple nominations. All right. Referees this weekend. Oh yeah. The standard of refereeing in the Premier League this weekend was a shambles. It's probably one of the worst I've seen. Right. Yeah. I've also got VAR. VAR has got to be in for a shout because it is so inconsistent. The amount of Different like opinions on handballs and what is and what isn't this weekend has been ridiculous. Right, mm -hmm. we all hate VAR. I just get rid of the thing. Um, and then finally, um, Pereira for Fulham. Right, so I don't know if you've seen this or not. Yeah. So Craig Dawson, right, has gone up for a corner for West Ham. Um, Pereira is man marking Craig Dawson. I have not <laughs> got a clue. I have not got a clue why he is man marking Craig Dawson from corners. Anyway, they're having a, like a little tussle, and he keeps holding Dawson. And the referee's going, "What are you doing? Stop holding him! I've gone, I'm going to blow in a minute. Stop holding him!" As soon as the ball gets kicked in, Pereira close lines Craig Dawson penalty, and I'm thinking, "You dickhead! What are you doing? <laughs> Absolute plonker!" Um, so there are three nominations. Where what are we th what are we thinking? Pinnock got away with murder, didn't he? Pinnock did, did get away with murder. murder. I'll, that was I'll throw him one. in there because he had a stinker as okay, well. Okay, I don't mind a new nomination, mate. We can Sorry. throw Pinnock in there. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Chesney mentioned him. He did, yeah, but yeah. Ben overrided it. Yeah. Editorial. I, I just wanted to put it down to three. We had four chumps <laughs> of the week. I wanted three. I wanted three chumps. Of I, was week. Right, I was going for balance. Yeah, four I like and four. It, I like it. Yeah, okay. And Pinnock's also cool. Chesney's had a stinker, so we try to help him out. This build week. him up a bit. Yeah, just build him up a bit, Jay. I'm we'll going to go VAR because I think the referees, as Troy has made me change my mind, referees just let them referee. If they, get, yeah. if they get it wrong, they get it wrong. Yeah. But the VAR has got to do better on, on those decisions. And if you tell a referee to review it, they'll review it, won't they? They won't they ignore it. So I think, mm -hmm. I think the VAR referees uh, uh, get mine this week. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with that. I'm going to go with that. But also, with the one with Dorse, we know Dorse really well. Yeah. He's like six foot four. <laughs> he will headbutt your head okay. and you go, let the five foot four guy mark him. What's happening? What are we doing What's here, happening here? Like, honestly. I love Dawes, he's world class, but come on, you can't have a five foot four. It's like Harland and Ericsson last week. It's, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably worse than that to be yeah. fair. It is. Because Dawes will that. headbutt the post to score. Anything. Yeah. It doesn't matter. He's a, he's a big old dude, isn't he? Yeah, but he's doing I, really well, by the way. Doing really well. Didn't see, I didn't team. see that coming from yeah. West Ham. I got, thought he wouldn't get him this year. Got back in the team doing Wolves well. look at it, signed him, didn't they? Yeah, Wolf and Villa were looking at him yeah. as well, apparently, yeah. Um, steady, isn't he? Very steady, oh, yeah. very steady. You know what you're going to get. Um, I agree, though. VAR, you are stinking. Get rid of you, chump of the week. Uh, right, lads, we're just going to rattle through the rest of the talking points this weekend, the rest of the game. So, first of all, we're going to start with Bournemouth uh, at home to Leicester. Massive win for Bournemouth, by the way. 1-0 down, came back to win 2-1. Leicester, what on earth is going on here, Troy? They're in a bad way, aren't they? Bad Again, way. the biggest transition of, of everyone in the, in the uh, Premier League. I think when you look at where they're at, Getting rid of the old guard. I think getting rid of Casper was a mistake, yeah, in my opinion. You mentioned that a few times. I'm yeah, sure. I feel like Casper, Wes, Vardy, they were that like they had that winning mentality from winning the league. Yeah. Now that's all gone, and it's like that new culture there. And you're looking around, and there's no leaders. Yeah. There's no one who's going. This is who. I don't know what Leicester are now, as a as an identity. Yeah. I know they try and play football and a nice, but who's who's getting hold of it? Yeah. Remember Soyuncu was an horrible that's bastard, wasn't he? Yeah. But like he can't even get a game now. Uh -huh. yeah. And so um, yeah. Leicester just, if they don't sort themselves out, they could be in a relegation battle this year. They could. I think Brendan Rodgers is under massive pressure as well. Fair play to Bournemouth, though. It's yeah. a fantastic win. That is a sh games like this, right, when you're that, when you're that mm -hmm. sort of team, if you can turn games around and win them and go on little runs like this, like I say, five games now without a defeat, That's two huge wins. in the Prem, isn't it? Massive, isn't huge it? In Absolutely the massive. Um, fair play to him. Fair play to uh, Gary O'Neill. Crystal Palace against Leeds. Um, Big win for Palace, I've got to say, the Eze goal. So this is why I'm wearing this today, by the way, because Eze, for me, has got to be goal of the week, right? The, it's, he's running across the 18-yard line, he, he goes to shoot, 
the defender, I think, is still sliding. Do you remember Craig Cathcart <laughs> yeah. did it against, against Liverpool last season? Yeah, him, just, him and Maps. Just kept sliding <laughs> like that way. And it was like that. Sat the defender down and then just stuck it in the corner. But I think Palace are a decent team. They've had some yeah. tough games so far this season. They've got a nice little run of games coming. Um, but Leeds are a bit sort of indifferent, aren't they? Don't mm-hmm. know what you're going to get from them. I think, with, I think with Palace, like you say, they've got so many good young players. Mm-hmm. Like Ezzy's in yeah. there. They've got that lad, is it Alois or something? Uh, yeah, 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 from Reading. Um, Obviously, Zahar's probably there for his last year, but they're a good team and they've lost some games, undrawn some games this year. Say that about Zahar, where do you think he goes? Oof. He deserves another shot at a, a, a club. I though. don't think he plays for a big team. I, I would love to know where, honestly. He'd probably I end don't... up going somewhere we won't expect, like yeah. Spain or something like that. You know? Possibly. I don't see any top 16 where he goes no. and plays. I don't Me think neither. he works hard enough. He'd be good. Arsenal. If don't work hard enough. He well, don't. Yeah. But that's, yeah. the, that's the problem that you got. If you want to play for the top 16s yeah. now, you've got do to have the work. Is that an issue with him, do you think? No, I just think he gets away with it because he's that good. He's yeah. the big fish in the small pond, isn't yeah. he? Uh, and he's probably 30 now, so yeah, that's what I mean. Go there and grab and everyone, you know the way it is now. Once you're 30, you're a dinosaur, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. everyone's buying 24 and under. So Young man's game now. I don't. I think he signs a new deal and stays. Me too. Personally, yeah. I don't think he. Don't think he moves. He's got it good there, hasn't he? And and, it, and, and as I say, as an older player. Yeah. Um, in a team that's young, you're going mm-hmm. to maintain that status, aren't they? Aren't you? And they're going to, while Vieira's there with the young players, I think they're they're, they're a be striker away from being top ten. Yeah, they're a good team. Yeah. Proper, yeah. I like Palace. I've always liked Palace. Um, West Ham three, Fulham one. Um, again, but the, the, do you know what the game? I, I saw Marco Silva afterwards, and he was fuming. He was absolutely fuming, and rightly so as well, because Vieira has absolutely killed him. Both goals, mm. Michael, well, sorry, two of the goals. Michael Antonio handballed it in the build-up to it, mm. and the Skamaka one, same thing. It's brushed his hand. Both goals get given. This is what I'm talking. I don't understand about. it. Mm-hmm. I didn't see it, it until the highlights, but when you see the Rashford one, where I don't know, any, only VAR overturned, even Everton fans thought the game was over, they were walking out, and then you see the highlights of the Pretty West much the same game, thing. Go, exactly the same thing. They're actually worse. So, yeah. 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 The, the um, fellas flying as well. It's Skama- 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 yeah, yeah, but scoring a lot of goals like in Europe yeah, and, yeah. and now transferring it to a Premier League. Big they, four lad, though. But yeah. they start. They, if they could get a mix between him and Antonio for yeah. certain games, I feel like playing Man City's and that you play Antonio and then yeah. bring him in. Well, they've also got this, right. the Thursday night banter thing, haven't they? Um, what's it called? Yeah. Conference League. It's good. Listen to this. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even know <laughs> the banter thing. <laughs> I know they play on a Thursday night. I don't know who they played, but oh, wow. yeah. ultimately it's. It's football, isn't it? But they, 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 but they, they, but they need, they, but That's West Ham need that sort of thing, don't they? Um, <laughs> yeah, and they need, they need rotational players. Yes. I like what I think. Skamaka is a fantastic sign, and I'm going to get back in with the West Ham fans. <laughs> yeah. Say, Skamaka was. I like. A I like the they sign as well. Was, last the, uh, season, the ten, the ten, the flair player. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Piketa. Oh, I like yeah. him as well. He's nice. Pac- so. Pacata, you pronounce that, by the way. Oh, is it? Don't know Gamera is though, do you? Man City. Man City four. I'm enjoying the <laughs> Man City four. Southampton nil. Um, it's just run of the mill. It's just run of the mill. Them. Honestly, it's like I, talk about Ireland. I don't even want to talk about them too much. I do actually want to pick your brains on Haaland, yeah, yeah. To be fair, because you've got some interesting thoughts on him, on him haven't you? Like I, said, I think he's. I think he's generational. I think you had R nine, the real Ronaldo. So yeah. I know Cristiano's your boy, but change the way strikers work, dribbling, get at people. Thierry changed the way left wingers could now be strikers. Do you remember Man United tried to sign that? French kid, they signed that French kid. Alien. No, uh, up, bald head. Up, up, oh, Obertan. Yeah, thinking uh, he was going to be. The, yeah, Gabriel yeah, yeah. Obertan. He's going to be the next Henri because he's quick and yeah, all that. Yeah. And didn't work. So Henri changed that. And I think Didier Drogba changed Off. the way that everyone was playing two up front, and then Didier made everyone go four three three because he could work that whole back line on his own. And I think that's what Haaland's going to do. I think he's going to take away just everything. Now your strikers going to be six foot four, yeah. fast. Can head it, can run in behind, can come short, and can score with both feet, and also doesn't mind the physical. Yeah, I don't know. Goal, I don't. Even as a Man United fan, you'd have to say there is nothing he's bad at. No, I, 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 I was talking about this. Um, I, I just think there's a bit of disrespect at the moment to the Shearers and and and, yeah. and and everyone because he's got to go and do it, and I don't think he'll stay in the Premier League long enough to do it anyway. But Agreed. you're right, he is absolutely amazing, and I think the players you mentioned there about Drogba, Henri. You've got to find the right club because if you put Haaland at United, he wouldn't score goals because yeah, sure. we don't create the chance. Yes. He's heaven sent for Man City for him oh. and, and, and everything just works. And it I works. thought at the weekend, he didn't score for an hour because Ugh. they're probably so occupied with Haaland. Everyone mm-hmm. else is feasting and then Ugh. they're like, oh, that didn't work. And then Haaland gets his goal. But uh, again, because he's talking about the team, like remember West Ham the first game, they were like, never touch the ball, never touch the ball. One ball in behind, gets a penalty. Like, oh, yeah. geez, how'd you stop that? But I don't think Kane would have scored as many goals. 
as he as he has. If he was playing for Man City, yeah, I totally I, agree. No, I, I, think I don't he think he scored a lot. But he would have scored Harland's a lot, but I don't think he makes a six-yard box as yeah. religiously as no, Harland does. Not anymore. He's always Do you know, there. I think Harland might be the best one-touch finisher from a cutback yes. I've ever seen in my life. The one it's against ruthless. The one against United the other day, oh. when he's coming in off of the left. Normally, a striker would just feel that into the corner. He's slapped it. How hard is That's that a as a striker? Really, oh, when that ball's getting whipped on, back through bodies. On the bounce as well. Yeah. It's like, it's not on the floor. On the floor, it makes it easier. But when he's bouncing in, as I say, most times you'll use the, the speed of the ball to try and guide it. He's slapped that. Yeah. In. And it's like, when he scored, I was like, Whoa. I like the fact that he's a left footer as well. I think all the best players are left footed. Are you left footed? Wow. Are you? Wow. Are you left footed? I'm, I'm yeah. not at all. Are you left footed? Yeah, he's left footed. But I just don't know what's happened. I thought we were friends. Yeah. I yeah, I, I think we've we've never le- met. This is the first time we've met. You've hammered me seven times <laughs> in less than an hour. It's fine. We're going to uh, have Chelsea, a roll around. Let's move on to Chelsea, all right? <laughs> let's move on to Chelsea, who are very quietly going awesome. about their business. Yeah. Awesome. They are they are genuinely oh, yeah, very good. fantastic start for... for um, I was going to call him Harry Potter then. I can't. I'm going to have to start putting some respect on his With name. Little bit of respect. I'm going to have to. He's been world class. He's put the beard in. Yeah, he looks lovely, bastard, doesn't he? Doesn't I think he's yeah. trimmed down a bit. What's that yeah. all about? You know, he's a tracksuit manager. He goes to Chelsea. He's got the designer jacket, yeah. the designer stubble. He's had a haircut. He's, he's, he's moved to West London. Yeah. Been he's, shopping on the King's Road. He's, yeah, yeah. he's got the money. Yeah, Boom. he's living in, living in Chelsea. Oh. Well, it's a million mate. dollars. Yeah, it does. But I think, but Chelsea, they, they are. They're kind of going under the radar. They're getting their job done. Yeah. Um, so that Milan result midweek, I watched yeah, that. Oh. Milan are really good, and and they made them look. Who who's the winger for Milan, by the way? Who? Real. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> this guy. Watch. Uh, uh, mark my words, right? He'll be in the Premier League. He's another left footer. In in about four <laughs> weeks' time. Oh, so he is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. He was just. It'll be at Chelsea. Rhys James was getting rinsed, by the way. Absolutely rinsed in mm-hmm. that game. He was just running around people, weren't he? Ridiculous. Be a Chelsea will buy him. If, yeah, they if, uh, be if a Bamian can get scoring consistently, they'll they'll be in that top four. Yeah, mm. I still think they're a, a number nine away from from being a, being able to contend with his, his cities. Yeah, um, I want to give I want to give uh, Save of the Weekend to Jose Sa for for Wolves. Wolves are in the mud, by the way. Wolves they're are genuine, a bad team. They are genuinely the struggling. Bad team. Uh, but Jose Sa. He made a top hand save from uh, Christian Pulisic, right? Mm-hmm. And I mean, when I say it was going in the top corner, you need to be a goalie, I think, sometimes to appreciate the, mm-hmm. the magnificence, as they say. <laughs> it was going in that Schneider there, right in there, right? And he's just come out of nowhere. This top hand save, boom, beautiful save. Um, and also a big shout out to Kepa as well, because Mendy was actually on the bench at the weekend, mm-hmm. right? So Kepa played a couple games now. It looks like, yeah, it looks like, it looks like, like he's going to stick with Kepa for a little bit, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, so better fair with his feet, though, isn't he? Yeah, he for is. The way that yeah. Potter wants to play. He was better. very good at the weekend as well, like you say, with his feet, passing yeah. out all that kind of stuff. Um, and then finally, lads, we've got Brighton Tottenham, and we saved it to last because it was a miserable game. It was a snore fest. Fest. Oh my gosh. But I was speaking to somebody, so I went to the NFL yesterday at Spurs, and I was like, oh, how did you find it? And there was one fellow that was like, it's really crap, but we're winning. Yeah. So it's like, it's crap to watch, but we're winning. We're not used to winning. So it's like, good with the bad. And I don't know what what you, would you I, prefer. I think I think you're right. I think Spurs fans will be like that. They're so yeah. used to the empty trophy cabinet, and then they're, they're, they're being <laughs> wow. they're playing good. But I was thinking some Spurs. I, fans. I'll just tee you up. You <laughs> no, like, I, 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 we do well. I, um, I was speaking to some Spurs fans on Saturday mm. night, and they were like that. And, and you'd speak to one, and they'd go, "Oh, it's like, the football's terrible. I don't like it." And then you get another one going. I'm driving back from Brighton and we, we've won. Yes, uh, and yeah, we're, yeah. we're in touching distance and we've just lost the North London derby. And Conte, I mean, the interesting thing is, who's getting top four? Because we're saying Chelsea, you said Liverpool, yeah. Conte with Spurs, yeah. and then you've already got Arsenal, Man City, that's five. Yeah. And we're getting United as well. Yeah, I think they'll finish eighth. Um, <laughs> no, I think, yeah, City, Arsenal, Tottenham. Chelsea. Liverpool. Liverpool. You're Liverpool saying Liverpool just to sneak it. in there. Yeah. Um, Tottenham, by the way, third, 20 points off of nine games, yeah? And still Tottenham fans aren't happy. That's all I'm saying. They, I, are, very, they are very boring. They are. Ve- it, it, this was a snore fest, honestly. Yeah. I was watching yeah. this game and I'm, I'm, I, I think I was on my phone more than watching the game, to be perfectly honest. It was, it as soon was, as they score, it's short shot, shot, though, isn't it? Shot. That'll do, It's yeah. typical right. Italian football, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, right, that wraps up all the games. Um, just want to get a quick prediction from you guys for the... Um, so tonight, Monday, when this show goes out uh, Forest um, I'm not even going to say anything Forest at home to Aston Villa give me a quick score prediction for this bad boy uh, I'm going to go hopefully 4-0 Villa another Dean Henderson disaster <laughs> class <laughs> you're a horrible man you're a horrible man <laughs> he probably will let three in in half an hour <laughs> nah, Troy, yeah, I'll go 1-0 Villa 1-0 Villa 
Um, watch Villa the other day against Leeds. If they can, Ollie Watkins can start scoring. I'd play Danny actually, Danny Ings. Yeah. He'll, he'll take the chances. I think they could yeah, cause Forest problems. But I'm not sure what's going on at Forest. Did you yeah. see that manager getting the new contract? Yeah. yeah. Filippo's just gone in, director of football. Gosh, uh, you not seen that? No, I've not Filippo, seen that. Filippo's gone in as director of football, so they'll definitely make five changes because they'll get involved. 100%. So um, I don't know. don't really know what Forest are going to do. Yeah, but I think it kills me to say I think Villa win 2 or 3 nil. Yeah. Yeah. I can yeah. see him going taking a month. But the, the big striker, the African fella, is fucking world class yeah, for us. Very good. And Fulham. Yeah. Did I say his name? Sorry. Nah, we'll, we'll get it on screen. Picture. Picture on screen now. Um, yeah, I'm going to. I agree with you, lads. I think um, Villa just a bit too much now. It's a bit too much expertise. Yeah. They've been there, son. It. It'll be a 1 0, 2 1 or something like that, okay? Um, thank you, honestly. That turn from the football filling, which is normally about 35 minutes, to a full blown hour debate. and a bit podcast, yeah? It's but that was proper. That was yeah. pro That's like in depth football talking. Yeah, so I've, I've loved it. I've been like the shit in the sandwich. Sorry, can <laughs> oh, I say that? <laughs> well. Mark, world class, mate. Well done. Thank you. Troy Top D, man, fella. you're Top welcome man. back Thank anytime. You. That's been the football filling. We will see you next week.